Hey guys, it's Paul here and I'm just about to make some molding for a furniture project that I'm working on. I'm making crown molding out of the same cherry that I'm building the, uh, the nightstand out of. And I'll just gonna, I'm just going to walk you through the process of how I make that on the Woodmaster. It's really slick. Uh, I mostly use this machine as a planer, but when it comes time to make some custom molding, I love to do it on the Woodmaster because it really produces a good quality molding. So I'm just going to walk you through the setup that I have here and then run the pieces through and show you that process. But uh, first the setup. So first of all, I removed the planer head out of here. I've got the helical planer head, which is, uh, spends about 99% of the time in the machine. If you pull that out and then install uh, the knife profile. So this was custom made. Uh, and then in the other two spots on the machine you install these counterweights that are included and balanced with each knife so it's important that you keep all that together uh, they definitely uh, act as a set so then uh, i just set up this uh, these tracks to align and and so that my stock will will go neatly through and align to the profile so you cut the, the, the stock to a 32nd inch thicker than the final thickness of your profile. So this is a 5 8 inch profile and I'm not going to try to do the math on the, on the fly, but it's 5 8 plus uh, 1 32nd. So it's all ready to go. I'm going to just then put the housing back on the machine, hook up the dust collection, get the belt on there, plug it all back in, and then we'll run some molding. All right, everything's all set up. First thing I'm gonna do is run a test piece through. I've got a couple cut that are just uh, scrap and just make sure everything is working fine and I'm gonna just use the, just turn on the feed motor, not the actual cutter head. All right, that went through fine. If it didn't, I would make some adjustments to the tension on the, uh, on the fit for the guides, but I think we're ready to go. So then I'm gonna just run it through again, really slowly and raise the table up into the cutter head uh, slowly until we engage and, and start uh, tracking progress. And you can start to see the profile emerging pretty clearly. I also have a mark on the end of here to uh, indicate which side is off to the right and it's obviously very important to keep that orientation the same on each pass or you'll goof up your molding really quickly. But this is just about there. There's a, just a little bit of a flat spot on top. Uh, I'm going to do another pass and just finish this off and then I'm going to run some of the actual pieces. That's looking good. I'd call that a final pass. 
Uh, this is just going to take a little bit of very light sanding, uh, but that you can see that the surface quality is really good. Now I'm going to finish it off by taking it over to the table saw and cutting the, the back profile on it. You can get the back profile knives and run it on the, on the Woodmaster, um, but for short runs like this, um, I just use the table saw to clip the, clip the backs off to 45. All right, I got the table saw set up to cut a 45, and I'm going to just clip the back uh, on both sides of the molding so that it'll fit nicely up in the corner. It. That's all there is to it. I love making molding on that machine. Uh, this is going to go on my uh, nightstands, which is part of my bedroom set. And if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook or both, you'll see the finished product when I'm done with that. Uh, it's coming along pretty nicely so far. I'm getting toward the end. Uh, a little bit of, a little bit more uh, molding work, obviously, and then uh, I, I get to turn eight bun feet uh, for the two nightstands. So that'll be fun as well. With that, I thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you'll subscribe to Toolmetrics channel and come back. I do a lot of woodworking, wood turning, and power tool related videos. Until next time.